What's up and welcome to the overstimulation station. We are doing yet another taste test video. This time it is the lovely country of Sweden or Sverig, whatever. <laughs> one of our awesome fans, one of our listeners from the Uncovering Unexplained Mysteries podcast sent us a care package of truly authentic Swedish candy. So we are very excited to give it a try. Shout out to Jade. Thank you so much, Jade. You're awesome and for providing us these shirts and even these Swedish socks that uh, you can't see Stephanie's, but she is wearing some. I, I definitely am joyously wearing them. Yeah, so have you ever had Swedish candy or food before? No. Neither do I. The only thing I know Sweden for is their Swedish meatballs, but the, this is authentic candy. It is right off the store shelf from Sweden. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to rate it 1 to 10, 1 being the worst thing we've ever had, 10 being the best. So without further ado, here we go. Alright, the first thing we're starting off with is Vinar Scala Gelantifry. That's fine. Swedish chef from Muppet, uh, the Muppets, that's all I know. Um, like I said, we've not tried any of this before. So these are like little gummy things it looks like. Oh, these look delicious. Mm. They're like uh, teal and yellow colored. Is it a skull? Oh, it's amazing. It's a skull. Yes. Very good. Very fruity. Very like berry like. Kind of raspberry or something? Sticks to your teeth. Mm -hmm. I give these a 6.5 out of 10. I'm gonna go with 6. They're pleasant. Alright, the next thing we're going to try is um, Zoo Original by Malaco. And it says some stuff at the bottom of the package here. Smogodis Med. Pig fruit dish <laughs> smack. Something about fruit. I'm sure that's right. It's even got a little perforated plastic the dotted air. Okay, fuck, I'm using scissors. <laughs> this video is now not family friendly. Just drop the F bomb like Sorry, a few everybody. minutes into it. Oh, they're shaped like little monkeys. It's kind of hard, but monkeys. All right. All right. Mmm. Is that like vanilla? Yeah, it's got like a creamy, like a cream berry. Yeah, I like how they don't stick to your teeth as much as the other thing we just said. That's probably my favorite thing. So yeah, I give these about a seven too. I like, I really enjoy these. Mm -hmm. All right, up next we have Pegalin Drops. Um, I have no earthly idea what these are. Well, there's a, a pony and he looks like he's running from some very scary looking children, which I would do. Yeah, no idea. The packaging, outside packaging, doesn't do any favors of like letting you know what this could possibly be. Like that looks just like an after dinner mint. They're very small and green. Doesn't smell like anything. Pillowy looking. I think you're supposed to suck on them. It yeah. tastes like candy apple. It tastes like um, you know those fruit, the fruit style candy canes, the ones that have the. They're not like the regular peppermint candy canes. They have the blue, yellow, and whatever stripe around them. I always hated those. I always love those. Yeah. Now, I really like these. Yeah. Eight out of 10 for me. I'm gonna go with like five. They're a little on the sour side. Uh, five.
scary monkeys. And he's like a happy monkey. He's not a mischievous like look what I'm doing. And about then you got this salty, questionably salty monkey. What? Zero. You know Zero. What? We ripped his head off and I'm not upset about that. He deserves all of that. Yeah, now I understand why there's so much Swedish black metal in your country mm -hmm. eating stuff like that. Sticking to the theme of having different flavors of, uh, from similar companies, here is the uh, Halon Lacritz Scala Gelatin Free Scum. Scum! With Scum. an exclamation point! Scum! They look really cute, but I'm really wary of this black side because I feel like it's going to be licorice and I... Oh, I hate licorice. And they look so cute. Look, they're happy little pink and black skulls. I want to like this. I don't think I'm done. There's that weird salt again. What? Why do you do this to candy? Candy's for children and for happy people. It's salty. Why is there salt in there? But not like a salted caramel or something acceptable. Oh. It tastes like a salted circus peanut. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a one. Yeah. It's slightly better because it's not covered in salt. All right, trying to forget about that experience. We have um, these peppermint lollipops. Peppermint on a stick. These apparently have a specific nickname in Sweden, but uh, I, to me, it just looks like a uh, peppermint that they jammed a stick through when it was soft and it hardened, and now this is what it is. That's kind of like my life. Wow. That's fine. I don't know, man. Sweden, you're kind of deceiving me now. Like, you, you start off all nice and friendly, and then you get evil with the, that salted, demonic blackness. This tastes more like the candy cane ones that you were talking about. The fruity ones? I don't no, know. this doesn't. It tastes like peppermint candy cane. There's no fruitiness about it. No, it's not quite peppermint. It's not like hitting me in the mouth with peppermint. Wow. I really like this. It's not as hard as a traditional candy cane but it's not like super soft either. It's got this soft-ish kind of texture to it. Perfect for sucking on. Wow. <laughs> so, uh. That's why he likes it. I give this a, I give this an eight out of 10 as far as candy goes. I mean, it's very yeah. good. All right, up next, I was sent a bunch of these little tiny candies and these are called, I don't know what the hell these are. These are little candies, they look like, um, yeah, I don't know. You'll see the footage up on screen, what they look like up close. They look kind of like if you took a piece of popcorn and covered it in some kind of confectionery. Outside's good. Mm -hmm. Also good. I'm waiting for it. Um, what is that? Why do you gotta take something that tastes good and you're like, ha ha ha. I know how to destroy their hopes and dreams. I don't, oh, 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 no, no, it's that terrible, it's a weird type of salt that they keep wanting to use in this stuff, it's not like, hi, I'm happy French fry salt, I don't know what this is, it's like, mm, squid salt. This tastes like blood, this tastes like salty blood. Oh god, it got worse, it got worse, okay, I can't finish this one. Oh, oh god. Ah. I my teeth. Clap. What's with the salty candy? Stop it, people. Mmm. You've made Fanny upset. Somebody from Sweden, please tell us what's in that candy that we just ate, if you know those little tiny things. It's probably squid semen or something. I don't really want to know. It's like malted milk ball, and then in the middle you have blood sausage. Yeah. I don't know. The outside was so good. All right, up next we have these suckers. They are called Tom Tekluba. Tom Tecluba? Yeah. Tom Tecluba. She's got the uh, more caramel looking one. I have a berry looking one. Probably blood flavored, but you know, we'll, we'll find out. And the Swedish started out as seeming so innocent. Is this, is this a dwarf? Or like Santa? It looks like Santa. Seems yeah, so oh, I think this is one that um, J Jade was telling me that there's uh, it's a nickname, like Santa something. I don't know, man. Santa Seaman. You're just trying to get this video demonetized as hard as you can, aren't you? Wow. Mine tastes like strawberry. It's like a strawberry sucker. Mine is very confusing. I both like it and dislike it. 
All right, up next we got Bilar, Bilar, Bebla, <laughs> by Algrens, uh, Sverigas, Mest, Kopta, Bill. I'm gonna think that says Sweden's most popular, whatever Bill is. Oh, whatever that is. It says original, tradition, sedan, 1950. What's up with putting the cars on the... Packaging. There's yeah, there's literally cars. On oh, there the are. Yeah, you'll see that on the footage that I put up on the screen there. Hmm. Try some of these. They look good enough. Are they shaped like cars? They look like they're not hiding anything scary. <laughs> they I, look very marshmallowy. I think they were supposed to be cars. Yeah. Hmm. That's very pleasant. It's like a circus peanut that doesn't break up in your mouth. It's that soft pillowiness, but it stays intact. I really like these. Not bad. I'm just really perplexed with that other uh, thing. Is. Yeah, I'll give this like a 6.5 out of 10. I'll go with a 5. Well, we apologize if the audio sounded kind of crappy up until now, but I forgot to turn on the, uh, the, the microphone down here for the. F anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm not as professional as, as this whole thing may seem. Next, we're going to get into some Swedish chocolate. Do our grim. Chocolate. Grim. From my understanding, this means you are awesome, but grim apparently also mean, used to mean terrible or something like that. But um, in the Swedish movie theaters, when, the, when they come from America, they translate grim wrong. So they translate it to mean awesome. So the Swedes started saying grim was awesome instead of terrible, something like that from my understanding. So apparently this is some kind of waffly chocolate thing. I'm thinking maybe Kit Kat. I was excited for it until you told me that story and now I'm oddly suspicious of this. Mm. Very good. It's good. It's got some kind of, kind of biscuity tones to me. It's got some honey type tones in the wafer. It's like a Kit Kat. It's got the wafers and the chocolate, but the wafers are sweeter mm -hmm. than a Kit Kat would be. It's a very, very light milk chocolate. All right, up next we got Dame. The Dame chocolate bars. God damn it. We about to try some. Are you proud of that? Oh, they're individually oh. wrapped. There's yet tinier Dames within the Dame. I'm guessing this is taffy or toffee. It's gonna be chocolate and toffee. Like a uh, you got protein in here too. Keith bar. They they recognize the importance of nutrition in some of their terrible candies, but this mm. actually looks good. This is fantastic. Mmm. This is very good. Ten. 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 Yeah, Heath bars and score bars. You ain't got nothing on this. Mm -mm. All right, the final thing we'll be trying out is this. I'm guessing it's pronounced callus callus spread. No idea. The uh, cover looks like a kid eating a pop tart with some squiggly stuff on the top. But How, however, we've determined through our research, it is actually meant to be eaten on eggs and toast, which makes me very sad because I would really just rather eat eggs and toast. So we don't really know what this is. I'm going to assume it's some kind of a mayonnaise type thing. I would like situation. Very light amounts. Oh, that's nasty. I'll do the honors of mine. Okay, I'm just gonna spread mine on there. Yeah, I don't know if I want it on there strudel style like that kid. <laughs> so. Um, oh, it smells gross. I can already smell it. No, I. It's gonna ruin this delicious. Yogurt. Oh, that smells awful. Mm. Okay. This is. Well, last video it was the uh, De DeLorean. What was it the, called? The Durian, the Durian and the Thousand Year Egg. Okay. Oh my god, it smells terrible. I know. No. I don't... Mm -mm. No. No. Nasty egg shit. Oh, it's so gross. That's disgusting. No. Why did you ruin my egg and my toast? Why? It's like fishy. That, that was really disgusting. Um... It's, it's, it smells like fish. Smells like very fishy. Like 
And it's like got fish paste. Yeah, fish paste. Yep, fish paste is exactly what it tastes like. Z uh, zero out of ten for me. It's still in my mouth. And thank you for ruining a good piece of bread and uh, egg collis spread. <laughs> All right, so that was the video. Sweden, you have some pretty good candy and chocolate. Um, I would say, you know, besides my Canadian food that I tried, this was my second favorite. Mm. Didn't really like a lot of the British food I had. Didn't like any of the Asian food we had. The Asian food was so bad. The Canadians still have the best snacks, but that's probably because they're so close to America. So I want to thank Stephanie. She is in my band, Dancing with Ghosts. You can find our content on this channel. Scroll down or go to the related videos or whatever. You can check out the various crazy music videos we've done. This is kind of a out of character kind of fun video that we did here. So again, thank you Jade for sending this all the way from Sweden. She even had the Swedish posting on the envelope that I got. It's a thick ass envelope full of debris and dust. I don't know what they pack in there, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos, hit subscribe, like all that crap. Have a good rest of your night. Good night.